Morning, California lawmakers are holding a hearing at the state capitol to talk about the supply chain issues at our ports. ABC 10's Zach Fuentes live this morning ahead of this meeting. So, Zach, there's, is there bipartisan support here looking into this matter? Now, Walt, well, there's actually some agreement on what needs to be done. We're hearing from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle that say that there needs to be a sense of urgency. We need to get that from the state and from the Biden administration. And then happening later this morning, the Senate and Assembly Committee on Ports and Goods Movement, they're going to be meeting to discuss some of these supply chain issues. We got to speak with Assembly Member Patrick O'Donnell, the Democratic chair of the committee. He said the backlog of ships are going to have some serious impacts, some of which, of course, include empty store shelves, which we are already seeing. And he says we need more equipment to actually move the shipping containers, but he says the production of those that equipment is overseas, something he says needs to be brought back here. We also heard from Republican Assembly Member Vince Fong, who sits on the committee. He's calling for more rail and truck capacity at the ports themselves and also better aligning of hours between ports that are trying to operate 24 hours and the distribution centers. Now, Republican Assembly Member Kevin Kiley, who is not on the committee, spoke with us, says he wants to take things further. Folks who are actually uh, on the ground and are trying to get the, the ports, uh, you know, uh, to work uh, have identified the barriers that the state has put in place to doing so. And I'm calling for the legislature to get back to work to eliminate those barriers uh, to make sure that this California problem uh, doesn't have ramifications for the entire country. A total of 10 Republican Assembly members joined Kylie in a letter sent to the governor calling for the legislature to come back to session earlier than their January start date. We reached out to the governor's office and have not heard back yet. So again, the Ports and Goods Movement Committee, they're going to be meeting at 930 and we'll be sure to monitor that for you. So, Zach, something interesting I, I thought I heard you say was some equipment that will help alleviate the congestion at our ports is stuck in our ports. Yeah, so what he's talking about, it's called a chase. It's wheels that they put under the shipping containers, kind of like a trailer. He says that we don't have enough of those, that the production of those is overseas, and he wants production of that to be brought back here to our country so we'd have access to them quicker. Wow. Okay, Zach Fuentes with the latest. We'll see how this meeting turns out later today. Again, bipartisan. Zach, thanks. Here are some other top stories.